Welcome to Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and I hope you like my Facebook page Rustic Cottage Co, my group Rustic Cottage Co and my YouTube channel Rustic Cottage Co. This video is to inspire you. Please give the thumbs up, like, tell your friends and pass the word on. That will help my business. I much appreciate the time you're taking to enjoy this video. Please keep watching and let me know what you think in the comments and thank you again for watching Rustic Cottage Co from Julie. Have a great day. Enjoy the movie. So I've got the first coat on, the undercoat which is the charcoal grey and I still have to take this star off, I haven't taken it off yet. Um, but I will get on with that soon and uh, next I need to kind of well, I need to put on a clear coat over to the grey on top of the grey to protect it from when I'm wet distressing the grey doesn't get wiped off as well so that's what I'll be doing next last night I put the clear coat on top of the dark charcoal grey and let it dry overnight and today I have put the first coat of the white on and I'll let that dry and see how long it takes to dry. Probably not long today, it's a hot day, but we'll see um, if we can get the second coat on today or wait until on Monday because it's Saturday today. So it's coming along nicely, first coat always gets slapped on and then the second coat is a little more precise. So I've got the second coat on this piece, it will obviously, I usually do the two full coats and then the third coat is a touch up one which I will be doing and the reason for that is you get areas like say here that obviously it just went so thin and you need to do a touch up. So that will be done and then I will be working on putting some wood in the door putting some feet on to raise a little and uh, I have to also wet distress back but it's getting there, it's, getting, it's looking good it's going to be very similar to what I did um, a month or so ago um, which did really well and this one I think will be very similar so this piece is looking good I have now had uh, my friend put the pieces of wood on the door. Now this is not pallet wood. This is from some really beautiful old chairs that unfortunately were broken and were not strong enough to actually, you know, remake as chairs. But the wood on them was just beautiful color, beautiful texture. So I've been using the pieces from the chairs, four different chairs, in some of the pieces I've been doing recently mostly in the feet but also just putting it in different pieces and these doors have wood from those chairs and I think it looks beautiful and the feet on these pieces on this piece is also from the chair now this piece now needs some sanding in places that the uh, paint is a little too thick and it also needs touching up in places where the paint is a little too thin got some holes that need filling and painting over and then we'll do some wet distressing but so far this piece is coming together beautifully and it's a cute little piece a nice size and I'm kind of thinking it's going in the direction of rustic yet modern farmhouse look and I think it looks cute let's get finishing on this piece and stage it up well, this piece is pretty much finished. I've done some wet distressing on some of it. The paint is all finished. I've already clear coated the wood and uh, next I will be uh, putting, I think, a white wax over all the white. Just as I would do that because you never know when you're going to get bleed through and the least amount of bleed through you get is using white wax. Um, if it goes a yellowing a little bit, then the white of the wax covers that and it less, 
it just brightens it, makes it better. So I find if you're not sure after doing all your hard work, if you're gonna get a slight little bit of bleed through, then go with a white wax over white. So next I'm gonna do that and then we're ready for doing some staging up pictures and then it'll be available. What are you thinking? I think it's so cute. I love the size of this piece. Uh, it could be used anywhere. I mean, in a bedroom, in a hallway, an entrance, um, dining room, if you have a small little eating area or even anywhere. You know, it's a great size on this one. So I'm really excited about this one. Hope you like, and let's see the staged up pictures. So this piece is finished now and I just wanted to go over a few things as I've done one, a few of these before and I think they make a great addition to homes now, especially if you have a rustic kind of home, farmhouse look in your home or even a tiny home. Splitting up a hutch, I find taking the top off and making it separate to a different piece of furniture and then having the bottom of the actual hutch um, as another piece of furniture gives people a smaller piece to put in their homes. So this being that this is the bottom of an old hutch and transformed into a single buffet for a smaller home. And I will show you the actual top part of the hutch over here, which is now a separate piece of furniture and also would look good in the size of homes we have today. So occasionally I'll keep the hutch together with the bottom and do a farmhouse kind of style and sometimes I just completely separate them and make two different pieces of furniture as homes these days are being um, built a lot smaller. Some people can't afford big homes. Um, people are in apartments or little cottages and you just don't have the space room for a huge piece of furniture. So having a hutch separated like this, the top being more of a display shelf, could be put in any of the rooms, bedroom or dining room for your china, and then the bottom again could go in any room be in your bedroom hallway entrance um, so i kind of thought that would be a good thing to do on some of the hutches that obviously they're just huge wouldn't sell separately as wouldn't sell together but do sell nicely separately and if someone actually does like the two pieces you can always put it back on top and you've got the whole piece so that's why I kind of do this look. And as I've said, on this particular piece, I did not use um, the uh, pellet wood. I actually used a very old chair and just the coloring of the wood of this chair, I find is absolutely beautiful and just gives texture and tone and contrast to the white of this piece. I just love the look of this and obviously we'll be doing more and more of them but not just this kind of style even though I think it comes out beautiful especially when I do the wet distress around it. I think it brings it out nicely. What do you think? Give it the thumbs up and uh, tell everyone about the channel and there's more videos to watch. Let's go look back at some of my old videos. I have furniture, crafts and more. Please enjoy and thank you for watching. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.